Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill 4 The Room. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and head back to the crazy world. Um, I wonder if it's going to put me in the bathroom again, and I'm just going to have to go through the subway again, because I didn't elect to go down the ladder. I just wanted to have a save, you know? Oh, no, it put me back here. Okay. Awesome. I wonder where the ladder's gonna go. Oh, to the depths of hell, apparently. It's over. Oh my god. Oh, what is that? I can't change my angle. Oh, I hear things. What the hell? Oh my god. Okay. making my head hurt. No! Go, go down! Oh, they keep coming. This isn't good because they like, they drain my health just by being around them. They stay down. <laughs> Alright, where am I? I have. Oh my. Hmm. I'm at another part of the subway. Henry. Henry. I found the exit. Come to the turnstile. Come to the turnstile. Hurry! The turnstile. Hurry! Oh my god! It's him. Oh, fight me in the ass. Huh? Get me a friend. I don't think they have friends. But... <sighs> the turnstile. The turnstile? Come from the heck? Is this where I go? Yeah, I'm on the other side of the. Oh, geez. absolutely not! Oh my god! <gasps> those things. That was crazy. How is that the hardest part of this game? Just not getting slapped by those freaking things. <gasps> this is the other side that I saw and it says bullets. Leave me alone. I don't have time. Oh no no! no. Take them! Oh I see the shadow behind me. I don't like that. Ah! So I got to the other side of um of the turnstile, right? Women's makeup items are scattered on the ground. 
These must be Cynthia's. There's a plate on the door. Move the plate? Yeah. You got the temp the temptation placard. Placard from Subway World. It shows a woman and says temptation. Does that symbolize Cynthia? Ah! Who got her? Because she said it's him. Like, what does that mean? Is it Walter? Are you okay? No. It's just a dream, right? I think I drank too much last night. She has numbers in her boobs. I never got to do that special favor for you. I I feel like I'm dying. Six one two one. One six one two one. Maybe we need to put that in the phone. so confused but I guess that's just what Silent Hill games do isn't it Cynthia What's that noise out there? Maybe we get with Cynthia. That was a very long cutscene. I've got to do this before I forget it. One, six, one, two, one. Nothing? Huh. I need to know why we need to know that because I won't remember it. There's an ambulance and a police car near the subway entrance. Is it Cynthia? I bet it is. Hurry up and get that ambulance! Quit yapping and move her already! Damn, she's got numbers carved into her chest. I wonder if... 
I can't use the TV or the phone. What am I wearing? I can't open the window. Up until a few days ago, it was no problem. Okay. I guess that's what I was hearing. It's peephole. Be a freaking pervert. Henry the pervert. I want that bunny to stare at me. My life will not be complete until that bunny stares at me. It needs to happen. I know it's going to, right? Okay, let's look out. Oh, I see a note, I see a note. There's a scrap of red paper stuck in here. Although the cult itself is gone, I'm sure the spirit of it is still alive. There are too many strange things happening in that town. I'm investigating two people, or maybe I should say just one. I've just about discovered what's going on. April 8th. Hmm. I sleep and people sure do like to sweep the hallways, don't they? Okay, um, I guess back into uh, the the Hell Inferno we go. Silent Hill. different place now? Really? Does that mean I missed my chance to get that box? That's nice, isn't it? Huh, that must be the way out, I bet. Before I go inside, let's look around here. Hmm, doesn't seem like not any bullets or anything. No. No bugs. Absolutely not. I do see some ammo. Hey! I said no! I said no! Stay down for long, huh? Just want these bullets. I want to stomp on them. I just feel like if I'm going to be walking through this area to go back to the portal and stuff that I should get rid of them, right? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
Ugh, maybe I should just ignore them. I don't know if I can. Oh, this is difficult. I know I'm probably spending entirely too much time on this. <laughs> uh, but I just don't want to deal with them. Gosh, where the heck am I? This liquid, it reeks so bad it makes my head spin. difference. The engine's still running and the driver's seat door is open. Ah, there was something on the seat is what he said, I think. It's been a while since I came here to Silent Hill. Maybe I'll meet the devil this time. But whenever I come to a cool place like Silent Hill, I always get real thirsty. Jasper Gein. I'm not sure what that nosy guy meant when he said his home is the orphanage in the middle, the lake is northwest, so the opposite is southeast. <sighs> Freaking me either. The nosy guy said one other thing I don't understand. If you bring the dug up key, you can't go back. Put it away somewhere before you return there. The dug up key. What does that mean? It's stopped with the brake pedal engaged. There are all sorts of things scattered on the seat. Okay. Jasper, huh? Are we gonna meet him? There's something written on the stump. This is writing, what does it mean? Or this writing, what does it mean? It... Why don't you tell me what it is? Something... Someone carved some kind of weird writing. Oh, I guess we don't... We just don't understand it. Are you Jasper? So you, you, you came to investigate this, this stone too. There, there was a, another guy here before, a, a, a real nosy guy. This must be Jasper. But, uh, I was the one, one who found the stone first. In the old days, the, the, the natives called it Na Nakihona. They used it in a, a, a ceremony for, for talking with their dead ancestors. And now those those guys are, are using it too. C call, call it the Mother Stone. They're just uh, up, up ahead in that, that weird building. Op operating some kind of crazy re religious cult. They, they used to collect orphans and, 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 and d d did things to them. Okay. Kind of gives you the chill, chills, huh? This stone. Um... Thanks, buddy. <laughs> this rock is creepy somehow. <laughs> what? Did it say hell? Oh god, I knew there was something there. I heard something walking inside to me. Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. Whoa! Okay. Was that a trap? I'm sorry. 
have that. Too bad. <laughs> what, are, what are these things over here? They're like... Faces in the ground? I don't know. Hi. Silent Hill Smile Support Society Wish House. That's the orphanage run by the cult, huh? Alright! Cult orphanage, here we come. I guess we can go back to the hole whenever we want to. I probably should so I can save. There's like cute little stuff on the walls. I think I'll go back to save, and then, um, we'll check out the Culp Orphanage. Why not? I still wonder... Why Eileen had those numbers carved in? Is that my doorbell? Help me! Help! Let me out of here! There's something going on in this room. What do you mean? I heard weird noises coming from inside there. Help! Hey, Richard, can you see anything from your window? Richard. No. Everything looks pretty normal to me. The guy who lives here. Oh, I like this time. What's he like, anyway? I know his name and face, but that's about it. Well, I'm going to go call the super. Yeah, good idea. Damn it. The super? They can't hear me. What does that mean? Super. Huh. Okay. Cannot hear me. Let's go ahead and check out our pervert hole. See if the bunny will look at us. Look at me, bunny. Look at me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I can't look outside. I could look outside from his room, but no dice right now. So, let's go to the, uh, the Wish Orphanage. Looks like there's something over here. Oh, it's just toys and stuff. Must be some kind of kid's toy. Looks like graffiti drawn by a kid. What's this? It just leads to the outside. Oh my gosh. There's a bunch of BS here. Let me just... Oh my gosh, I just want to stomp this bug so that it doesn't get back up. That's all I want to do. 
because the dogs are not bothering me. And I just want to see where I'm at. I mean, they're not bothering me for now. Why does it sound like something's peeing? I mean... I want to go in the orphanage, though. Yeah, I don't... Mm, I don't want to get too off track. Because... I do want to actually go up and see what's in the orphanage. And maybe there isn't anything in the orphanage. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're aggro. <laughs> but like... Wow, oh, yeah, there's fences all over this place. But maybe it's like... locked. <laughs> it is! I can't read this writing. Okay, so there's strange writing. The orphanage is locked. Something about a dug up key. Hmm. Okay. So I could go that way that I was going, or I could go over here. I kind of want to go over here. It just seems more right. Okay, I hear dogs. not hear dogs, right? Oh god, I heard it again. Like you guys. I feel like I should just avoid them. I'm being pretty dumb. It's too dark to see. Pretty dumb not avoiding them, you know? Oh! Tiny baby! Little tiny baby! Oh, I actually walk? Hey, little boy. What are you doing here? Can you say that any more creepily? Hey, little boy. You're... Finally, the third revelation. Something's gonna happen. That nosy guy that was here. He said it too. Something big is gonna happen. Finally, it's gonna happen! <laughs> He's getting the heck out of there. That sure does look like us, doesn't it? It sure does. Where did that kid go, though? This looks like a giant graveyard. A grave has been dug here. On the bottom of the coffins are the numbers. 11121. Okay. So she was 16121, I think. So it must be. It's locked from the outside. I can't get it open. That must be like what the killer does. There's a cliff on the other side of the fence. I can't go any further. Okay, so th is this like a dead end? This is a door over here, right? No. Just a fence. Huh. Okay, I guess we go back and try to find that kid that looks like us. Hi. So I guess what I'll do is I'll see if the door is open again, and if it's not I'll go through that other gate over there and we'll follow that gate because that's the only gate I didn't follow through on. Oh my god, hi. I can't talk to him. It's locked. The, the d d door won't open. Yeah. That nosy guy 
gave me something really good. Uh, I, I c could let you have it, but, 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 but not for free. I'm really thirsty. I'm so, so thirsty. Oh, chocolate. Chocolate milk. Oh, chocolate, chocolate milk. Okay. Okay, I got you. I know what I have to do. Which is rare. <laughs> for me. He's like, uh... That little shriveled up worm from Spongebob. Chocolate. Chocolate. They say it much more aggressive. Okay, let's get some chocolate milk for this thirsty, thirsty man. Did not think that's what I would be needing that for. Hold on. Where's my chocolate milk? Hey. Hey. Wait. Where's my chocolate milk? I know I had it. I'll put that away. There it is. I just didn't know how to get to others. Wait. I'm not at the subway anymore. I don't need these coins. And I do have quite a lot of bullets, but I'm sure I'll need those. So, okay. So we got our chocolate milk. We're gonna go give him some chocolate milk and hopefully he gives us like the key or something. Okay. Yes, you can. There we go. <laughs> That was awesome. Here, take this. There's something written on it. Weird way to give it to me, but okay. It's kind of rude. Here, take this. I'm just going to drop it on the floor for you to pick up, you stupid peasant. It's a small spade with a bloody inscription. You got the blood inscribed spade. Written in blood is opposite where the lake and the house meet. Inside the hand, holding on to the ground. <sighs> Opposite where the lake and house meet. Inside the hand, holding on to the ground. Inside the hand, holding on to the ground. Well, this is the only place that I haven't. Ah! I just got here. You're being rude. Oh, there's a lot. There's actually quite a bit of them. It's fine. I got some good health, right? Oh my god. Stomp it, please. Oh my god. Stomp them, Henry. Henry, stomp them! Henry, you suck badly. Please just stomp them. Okay. Okay, I did it. <laughs> Gosh. Alright, now I can go, uh... Explore this area and maybe I'll find the hand holding onto the ground? He was 
looking this way. What the actual frickin' prick was that? Oh, the hand! The hand! Okay. Who? It said something about I have to put the key that I d dig up um, somewhere else before I can go through the hole again. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna be able to put this. But I remember uh, Jared, I think his name is Jared's mm -hmm. note said, you got the rust bloody key. The holder of this key will wander for eternity. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I have to find somewhere to put it. What are you looking at? I can't read this writing. He's looking in this direction. He still is. Hmm. Oh, it's a golf club! Yeah! What the heck is that? I don't know, but I hear something. Can't read that writing. So. It let me enter. It let me enter the hole. Isn't that illegal? I thought I was supposed to wander for all eternity. Okay, apparently not. I just wanted to see if that's what it was- well, that's what it meant, but it's not. Okay! Back into the hole we go! Oh, it's this thing. Okay, well... Let me just get out of here. Okay, awesome. We got a freaking better weapon and fire iron. Oh my god, what's. Oh god. Oh. Is this what they mean by wonder for all eternity? Do I need to go put that key back? Oh. Oh, you know what? I get it. I get it. So. I think what I need to do is I need to I need to go put this key away and then I need to get back to the other hole so that I can get the key from that hole and then I'll be back at that hole and then I'll be where the orphanage is where I can use the key because that looked all misty and stuff and I guess we probably would have wandered through it forever. So that's my guess and while we're here we can put away that that other weapon that was, uh, not as good as a tire iron. Okay, and we can save. So... Oh, it says powerful and easy to use, but it looks like it could break easy. That's sad, but I'll just put it away till I can... You know. Okay. Okay. So... I'll go ahead and save, and then we'll go back and get to that other hole. Already? Oh, come on. Oh my god, let me enter the hole! <laughs> god. Why? Oh. 
All right. So. Yeah, I think I'm... Why does it keep doing that? I think I'm correct on this. Because it's no longer weird and misty and foggy. And I can just go right on down to the orphanage and I'll go through the other hole. And I'll get the key and I'll be able to use it. It's the only thing that makes sense. He's still drinking that chocolate milk. There's no way. He already chugged it. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. Alright. Yes, we are here with our key. Let's use it. You use the rusted bloody key? Yeah! And I think it took it out of my inventory, so I won't have to wander for all eternity or anything. Okay, I hear... I hear something else. Oh my god, I didn't know you were in here, bro. You scared me. Huh. Ooh. Locked. Alright. I guess we just go upstairs. The lock is broken, I can't open the door. What do you mean? Where else am I supposed to go? Everything else is locked. What do I do? Hey, do you know anything? Uh, I wonder what they did here. I don't know what's going on here. Me too. Is there something over here? Well, I've got to be missing something. Oh, it's falling apart and I can't even read most of the pages. Here's a part I can read. The second sign. And God said, Offer the blood of the ten sinners and the white oil. Be then released from the bonds of the flesh and gain the power of heaven. From the darkness and void bring forth gloom and gird thyself with despair for the giver of wisdom. The third sign, and God said, Return to the source through sin's temptation. The temptation plaque, I have that. Under the watchful eye of the demon, wander alone, in the formless chaos, only then will the four atonements be in alignment. No freaking idea what that means. There's a plate on the door. Remove the plate? You got the source placard. It shows a baby and says source. Placard from Forest World. He has numbers in his chest, too. I think I see them. That's not good. 17121. They all end with the one. I finally met him! The one the nosy guy talked about! The devil! Okay. Sorry for your loss. A special news report. In a forest near Silent Hill, the burned corpse of a 30-year-old male was discovered earlier today. The police have ruled it a homicide and are investigating. The numbers 17121 were reportedly carved into the man's body. Due to the marks on the victim, the police are investigating possible links to the Walter Sullivan case 10 years ago. Well, damn. Okay. 
Okay, all end with 21. I wonder what our uh, apartment number is. I wonder if that has something to do with it. Hello? Get me out of here. That's Richard. Okay. This is the superintendent. Uh, Are you in there, Henry? That's what they meant by the super. The superintendent. Help me! There's something wrong with this room! Help! Let me out of here! Is anybody home? What's going on here? Just gonna open the door. Not our door. heard something in there. Like yeah. what? That sound. It's the same one as back then. Back when, Richard? Get me out of here. I can't live like this. I just freaking trade. I had to trade my chocolate milk for a bloody key. That would make me wander for eternity, Richard. Do you have any idea what it's like to not have chocolate milk? Okay, time to be a peeping tom. The bunny's still not looking at us, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna go ahead and save. All right, you guys, I am gonna end that part there. And in the next part, um, I guess we'll see if we're still in the forest world or we're in a different world. And hopefully we find out what these numbers mean. Bye. <laughs>